don't secure your wireless, you're allowing someone that you don't know and trust into your network and then ultimately onto the internet. Originally, when the home uh, wireless market came out, there was a large threat because the devices themselves were inherently unsecured. They were left open to all the defaults to make it easy to set up. Uh, so not a lot of people knew how to secure them. And so it was quite easy to take advantage of it. A lot of the home um, wireless router boxes now come with fairly decent software that will step you through the procedure. There's a, a component or a, a field called the SSID, that's a service set identifier. And what this does, it's a name, nothing more than that, and it describes your access point. By default, it comes from the factory and it'll have, you know, Linksys or D-Link, and that'll be the SSID. So one of the first things you can do is change that. Change it so it's something else just other than the default. The next thing you'd want to do is enable some form of security on it. Every computer will have what's called an, a MAC address, and that's the uniquely identifiable address on every network interface card that every laptop or computer comes with. So you can actually add those to a list and say only these computers are allowed to connect to this access point. So there's always the risk of somebody who really knows what they're doing getting into your network, but it's nominal.